بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب A beautiful, beautiful statement by Sheikh Alama bin Fozan حفظ الله تعالى with regards to the advice really for us and in this advice contains a prescription for a lot of the fitan and fitna that we face in this time and age with so many people speaking about the religion so many people gaining followings but calling the people to who knows what and it also is a beautiful beautiful advice to show us the importance of ilm of knowledge and speaking and acting with knowledge and that we should be cautious of our tongues with regards to the honor of one another especially with the issue of takfir of declaring another Muslim to be a disbeliever or the issue of tabdir of declaring another Muslim to be an innovator as has happened countless times in our community that we've seen how many people who were known for the sunnah of the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one day and the next day the people trample upon his or her honor based on one issue or based on a mistake or based on their own desires and their own lies and fabrications against that individual. So Ayyul Ahbab, speak with the Haq. Adhere to the Haq and be upon the Haq. Ayyul Ahbab, let's listen to what Shaykh uh, Salim bin Fuzan has to say after this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Alayhi Afdal Salatu Wasallam said, which is very relevant to what we're uh, dealing with, some of the issues that we deal with in this time and age, Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man yurid allahu bihi khayran yifakuhu fi deen The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said That whenever Allah wants good for a person He gives him understanding of the religion Fiqh fi deen Man yurid allahu bihi khayran yifakuhu fi deen Whenever Allah wants good for a person He gives him understanding of the religion Ayyul Ahbab The ulama they say The mafhum wa mukhalif Wa mukhalifah that when we look at this text, that what we can derive from this text, which is uh, implied, the implied meaning of this text, is that whenever Allah does not desire good for a person, He keeps him ignorant. So, Ayyul Ahbab, look at yourself. Always try to evaluate yourself. Are you elevating your, your knowledge about Islam? Even something, even if it's something small, you learned the meaning of one ayat this month, something or is your Islam your Islamic knowledge and your Iman really the same as it was three or four years ago that you have not learned a single thing matter of fact you've become more ignorant and you find that yourself you're speaking about issues you should not speak about so Ayyul Ahbab come back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and seek beneficial knowledge and speak little and speak very little about others it's better just to listen listen to what the ulama have to say and listen to what those students of knowledge that are grounded and that are not people of desires who are just going to have you follow them for the sake of following them and glorifying them but and speaking about others which helps to raise their status and belittle others. Ayyul Ahbab, this deen is real. Elm is real. And Elm can, can be a source of getting you to Jannah or a source to bringing you to the hellfire depending on your sincerity. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ said, the Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make easy for him the path of Jannah. Letting us know that knowledge is a key or it's a means to getting to Jannah. At the same time, that same knowledge can be a means for getting into the hellfire if you don't practice it or you're not sincere. You're not sincere, you're not doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you're doing it for the sake of the people. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ said about the three people, some of the first people to go in the hellfire, one of them was an alam. And he was a, a person who had knowledge and a person who taught knowledge and a person who knew the Qur'an and read the Qur'an. فَقَدْ قِيلْ Then it was said about him. He was, people praised him. ثُمَّ أُمِرَ بِهِ فَسُوهِبَ الْوَجِهِ حَتُوا الْكِفَنَّا Then he was dragged in, 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 into the hellfire upon his face. Why? Because he didn't have sincerity in seeking that knowledge. So Ayyul Ahbab, 
May Allah bless us with ikhlas with that. Let's hear what this Alam Rabbani says about this particular very important issue about keeping silent and not speaking about the honor of one another, especially without ilm. Qala Allama bin Fuzan, Hafidullah Ta'ala, Qal, Wali Hadha, Yajibu ala shabab al Muslimin, Wutulab al ilm, and Yatalam al ilm al Nafia, Min Masadrihi, Wala Ahlihi al Marufin, B. Thumma bada thalika, Yalamuna, or Yalamuna, Kiva Yatakalimun. وَكَيْفَ يُنَزِّلُونَ الْأُمُورِ مُنَازِلِهَا لِأَنَّ أَهْلَ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَعَةِ قَدِيمٍ وَالْحَدِيثٍ قَدْ حَفِذُوا أَلْسِنَتِهِمْ فَلَمْ يَتَكَلَّمُوا إِلَّا بِالْعِلْمِ That is Allahu Akbar, it's beautiful. The Shaykh said, حَفِذَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى He said, and with this, it's an obligation upon the Muslim youth and the students of knowledge to learn beneficial knowledge, meaning knowledge of the Sharia, from its origin, meaning Kitab or Sunnah, at the hands of those of the people of knowledge who are well known, well known for their practice, well known for their ilm and their fiqh, fiddin. Then after that, they should learn how to speak and how to apply those uh, those issues in their rightful place. Because Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah from the early generations up until now have always protected their tongues and they did not speak except with knowledge. And we ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with Al Nafia, wa Ruskin Taiba, wa Amalim Mutakabinin, wa Sallallahu wa Sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala Ali wa Sahbi wa Sallam.